Doom was originally released in 2016 by Bethesda and developed by id Software. Now, id Software is a strange name for a video game development company, isn't it? It's a first person shooter and a reboot of the classic Doom franchise of the same name. Doom. Franchi- Doom. The gameplay is solid. I played it on the Switch, so I had the advantage of having the gyro motion controls, which allowed me to pull off some precise headshots, which were much more satisfying than using the just the right uh, stick. It's a fast paced shooter, or an FPS, where you go from area to area defeating demons and closing portals to hell as a space marine on Mars. The story doesn't matter. Use destructive weaponry such as rocket launcher, assault rifles, plasma rifles, and the BFG, which stands for Big Fluffy Gun. So you're basically going from area to area, killing demons. When an enemy's near the end of their health, they start flashing these colors, and you can press a button and allows you to do a glory kill, which which makes the enemy drop more health points for you, so it's recommended to do this, indeed. Some of the battles are pretty tough, and I had to rely on my training up to that point to get through them. So it was very satisfying, running over there, jumping over there, forming a glory kill there, crying, sometimes. There was a bit of that. I played it on the normal difficulty, that was okay. It was challenging at times, but it wasn't too tough. But on the hardest difficulty, I tried that once, it didn't go so well for me. <laughs> the game rewards you for going the extra mile and exploring a bit, so as you go through the space stations and the, the, uh, the um, areas, wherever you are, Mars, I'm not too knowledgeable with the geography of Mars, but uh, as you're going through these stations and these areas and these bases, you come up, might come across some secrets. If you if you find a tunnel, you might go, oh, what's down that tunnel? Or like, oh, what's that? What's that do? What? What? Whoa! And it rewards you. Like, for example, this is a secret room I found that was just like the original Doom. It had the same textures of the original Doom, and it was like, transported me back to 19. 52 where Doom came out and I was like whoa I'm like really old now it was a nice touch it also rewards you through experience points and you can use these points by to up the you can use these points to upgrade your weapon and your suit as well and it's basically like perks like any other RPG but it's great it's a nice add-on to uh, what is Really, uh, a pretty bare boned <laughs> sort of game. Well, I'm say bare boned, but I mean, like the original Doom didn't really have any RPG functions like this does. So it's it's a welcome addition, nonetheless. Now, if only I could find the same level of creativity and perks to living in this consumerist and cultured, starved Australian society that I do live in. As you went along, as I went along. I found some voice recordings of dead people and they were telling me how they died and stuff. Well, they didn't. Mostly they were telling me that this space station was taken over by demons and I already knew that. It was just. Music is this pulsing electric rock that picks up every time you're in the middle of this big fight with all these demons coming at you and. picks up is this electronic rock that's just ah it's pulsing it pumps your adrenaline it makes you feel like a man uh, nah it's great it's a good game uh, it makes me feel like less of a little sissy boy it's a noisy game it has all these explosions these demons yelling at you and all these screams of torment and blood spurting everywhere it's in your face it's like being in the middle of a bar and an Irish bar when there's a fight going off or something, I don't know. It knows what it is and it's just, just yelling at you all the time. It can be quite exhausting. I didn't... I didn't... I am man enough to take it on. It's quite violent, it's quite loud, it's very much full of toxic masculinity. It disgusts me.
Obviously, if you want even more of a manly experience in your 60 frames per second and higher resolution, you go on the PC. But since I'm a little ninny and I can't afford a massive PC to match my massive cock, I have to play it on my little switchy poo and... <sighs> but no, in all seriousness, the Switch version does hold up and I didn't really notice any of the, the frame drops there were some, but it wasn't enough to hinder the gameplay. It just, when things got a little bit intense, it dropped a little bit, a tiny bit, but not much at all. And um, so yeah, all those people complaining that the Switch is a little girl's console. I'm proud to be a little girl. It really is a champion's effort on Panic Button's behalf, bringing this to the Switch and Make it so such a gay, capon pate, compatipe, corpo, and make it such a confident example of why more developers should take the time and put the effort into making a Switch version of all the games. The only real thing that kind of dragged it down for me was it was kind of repetitive. I don't like really like repetitive stuff and games that kind of drag out. You know, I get the point. If it, you know, you get the point throughout halfway of the game, don't expect anything completely new to throw, that the game will throw at you. There's a few mini bosses there and there, and those mini bosses kind of, I made, I thought they were the last boss, and no, there was more game to it. If you like that sort of stuff, hey, that's a pro, but I don't like it, so it's a con. Overall, Doom was a blast. It was full of gore, speed, horror, it was grabbing you by the balls and dragging you through hell. It's a game that says, I'm doomed, put down your little girls out of games, and I'm gonna make you my bitch. But it was fun. Um, so, yeah, I would suggest that I would recommend paying full price for the Switch version too, because this game is perfect to play anywhere you are. So, great job, Panic Button, on this port. Go out and buy it, guys. If you're a fan of these kind of games, hey, yo, hey, go to hell. <laughs> I mean in the game. It gets in. 8.5 out of 10 from me. Why? Because it's my channel. Subscribe. Subscribe. See you later.